I'm Zach Pfeffer, and I'm the Lenaro Android Platform Lead. And I'm here to show you how to use a Lenaro Android build. Using a Lenaro Android build is pretty easy. You simply go to android-build.lenaro.org. As you can see here, I've already brought up on the computer. You'll scroll through the list of builds, and you'll find the Snowball build, which is what we'll be using in today's demonstration. Clicking on the Snowball build, you'll see some build details that will help you use the build. How to get and build source, the tarballs, how to use pre-built images, QA test results, additional resources to get help, and some notes that, help you, that can help you use the build. We also have our lava results posted per build, and those contain a breakdown of all of the test results that lava will actually run. So you can see at a glance how this build is performing. The build also contains, the build page also contains the, the binaries that you'll use to actually program the unit. I'm going to show you how to use the pre-built binaries. We also support uh, building from source uh, as easily as you, as you can uh, use the pre-built binaries. It's just that the pre-built binaries are a little bit easier to demonstrate in a normal amount of time. Uh, source build will run about a, an hour on a, on a fairly well-equipped uh, unit. So you simply click on each, you clip on, clip on, click on each tarball and download it to a suitable location. I have a location here in uh, my workspace. And you just save a, the three components of the Android build, the boot.tar.bz, the user data.tar.bz, and the system.tar.bz. These three components are fed into the Lenaro Android Media Create tool that is used to actually program the unit. We don't currently have support for fast booting this unit right now, but we're definitely working on it. The Lenaro Android Media Create is actually a fairly nice, uh, easy to use tool that streamlines a few, a few things that traditional Android images from our members um, actually will give you, you know, uh, explain or um, it, they'll actually show you, you know, they'll show you what to do, but we've actually wrapped it all up into a, uh, into a good package, uh, an easy to use package. So this will take a bit, a bit of time to download. Once it's done downloading, you'll go in and you'll actually download the Lenaro Android Media Create Tools. Lenaro Android Media Create Tools are downloaded using Bazaar, and you can just pull the tip so you get uh, Bazaar uh, Branch uh, Launchpad Lenaro Image Tools. We actually package both the Lenaro Android Media Create and the Ubuntu Creation Tools in the same, in the same distribution. So you'll download using Bazaar, you get the tip. And that'll take a little bit of time since we're on a, since we're on a, uh, on a, y, on a W lag here. So I've already, I've already downloaded the tools in Lenaro Image Tools. And so what I'll do is I'll actually use the Lenaro Android Media Create tools um, that have already been downloaded. What we've got here is a standard SD card. The Snowball from STE actually takes um, the smaller SD card. Um, so you just keep that in mind. We have boards that take both the standard and the, and the smaller SD card. Um, so depending on what you're, what you're using, just, just keep that in mind. You might, need, you might need one or the other. You plug the SD card in and typically type D message on the console. That'll tell you. Um, what device it get, Linux enumerates it as. In this case, it's SDC. And you can see that there are a few partitions that have already been uh, built onto this card. 
one thing that the Lenaro Android Media Create tool does is it actually, it'll actually blow away all the data on this car. So just keep that in mind. It's is not a if you if you have an SD card that already has you know your uh, your daughter's birthday party pictures on it, this is that's probably not a good SD card to use. <laughs> so anyway, we'll come back here and we'll run Lenaro Android Media Create. Lenaro Android Media Create. Um, we have the how to run it here listed on the, the page. It has a, and that's useful because it does have a couple of arguments that are easier to just paste in. Um, which MMC card it is, what type of device it is. In this case, a Snowball SD. The system uh, .tar.bz, the user data .tar.bz, and the boot .tar.bz. So those images that we actually view or downloaded before we're going to use to create this SD card. So you select it. It'll ask you to verify that you actually want to that you actually want to reprogram this SD card, and um, it'll sit here and, and chew on chew on the SD card for a while. What it's essentially doing is it's formatting the SD card. It's going to write the partitions into this card. And then what we'll do is we'll take this card, we'll plug it into the SD card, or into the STE Snowball here, and we'll boot the unit up. Like I said, it's extremely simple. It's extremely easy to, to get going. And um, these tools like Lenaro Android Media Create really do really do make it easy to to try out Lenaro Androids, um, the Lenaro Android builds. Um, in addition to ST, while this is going, I'll, I'll tell you that in addition to the ST Ericsson Snowball, we also have a TI Panda, the Freescale IMX53 board, and the Samsung Origin board, all of which we have builds for with a variety of features, including including uh, being built against GCC, the Lenaro GCC 4.6, and um, the various, uh, both a stable kernel and the upstream kernels. So for whatever you're looking for, whether you're looking for enablement um, with a stable enablement, or whether you're looking for an upstreamed uh, focused build, we've got you covered. And we've got you covered with a set of standard tools that you can use um, to not only program Android, and not only program Android for this board, but all the boards um, using a standard, a, sta a standard set of interfaces. So this is almost done programming. It's telling me that I've got. Um, <coughs> it's basically giving me the size of of the um, of a few components here, and once it's done, we'll take it out. And we'll plug it into our, our ST Ericsson Snowball. Of course, Android, the first time Android boots, it actually takes a, a little bit of time to boot up. So we'll be we'll be we'll be seeing that here on the on the uh, monitor. The unique thing about this this snowball build, uh, in addition to oh, it's all done. Cool. So I'll tell you about the unique unique thing about this snowball build in a second. <laughs> so anyway, you uh, you take this guy out. Take it out of the adapter. When you're using these things, I found that actually here at Lenaro, we've actually done a study on SD card performance. And the SD card performance on these units can have a big impact on the end user experience. So it's recommended that you get um, either a class six, class 10 base SD card we found that the SanDisk Class 4s are good, and the Samsung Class 10s um, all are also good. So as you can see, I plugged in the SD card into the slot, and I have the HDMI cable plugged in, the Ethernet cable plugged in, and I also have this um, OTG uh, cable plugged in that allows me to plug in my, my keyboard and mouse. So I'll turn on my cable here and I will plug in the board. You press the button. Now the notes that I listed before I actually give you a, a, a pre, uh, a modification that you need to make to the default uh, board from the factory. The modification that you need to make is essentially um, 
a U boot a U boot change to point it at the right point it at the right partition. So just keep that in mind. So here we go. Now this particular board, I had mentioned that we have a variety of boards, GCC 4.6, uh, with GCC 4.6 or 4.4, um, targeted at a variety of, of um, different kernels. This build is actually using, as you can see here, it's a snowball, it's running ICS, it's running ICS uh, 4.0.3, GCC 4.6 on an igloo kernel. This is the stable igloo kernel and the uh, the uh, blob is, it indicates that the uh, graphics acceleration is actually distributed as, as, a, as a binary component. So if, a, if, the, if the graphics was distributed as an open component, you would see a, an open instead of a blob. Um, if it was a, if it was a uh, tracking tree or a, or a tip tree, it would have the name uh, tracking instead of stable. Um, if it was a kernel from, that was built from Lenaro, Instead of Igloo, it would say um, Lenaro or the Snowball Landing Team. So you can you can tell a lot by these names. Uh, we actually recently changed the names because they were a little bit hard to figure out what was actually going on in, in the build. Um, now, of course, it's hard in a different way because there's a lot of names here. So what do you what do you choose, right? <laughs> so the build's up, which is great, and you can see that we're running 4.0.3, which is really cool. Uh, get out of your way a little bit here. Here you can see that this is your pretty much your. Uh, I don't want an alarm. You can see that this is pretty much a ICS right here. It's actually accelerated, so I have a nifty little. We have a nifty little uh, set of programs here that we ship with the default image. I'll tell you a little bit about some of them. GeoMark 2 is a 3D, uh, 3D test bench uh, that you can use to actually test the, the performance of the 3D engine. And it'll run through a set of scenes. This is configurable, so you're able to actually say what scenes you want and how often you want them to run and a few other things. Um, our, uh, our working group, uh, um, um, Alexandros from our graphics working group, uh, takes care of that and we, we run the upstream. Uh, for the GeoMark 2 code base. We also have from OX Lab, OX Benchmark. OX Benchmark is a set of benchmarks that you can run to actually characterize Android builds. And one of those benchmarks, the 3D benchmark, you can see running here with the classic uh, Rubik's Cube. This is actually a really good, uh, really good uh, um, set of benchmarks. It not only will run through math, 2D, and 3D, VM and native and miscellaneous benchmarks, but it will actually also upload those uh, results to the OX Lab um, uh, group if, if, you, if you so desire. It's important to also realize that this is this build is not only not only is this build kind of useful from a platform development perspective, but it's also useful from so we're just bringing up you know. Basic, uh, basic browser here. But the build is actually not just uh, useful from a platform perspective, but this is actually useful from an SDK perspective. So if you're an, if you're an uh, Android application developer and you're not really happy with the quality of the devices out there that you have access to to develop, you can actually use a Lenaro board and the pre-built <laughs> images to give you a uh, more easily to use development environment. And as you can see here, these are easily programmed by pretty much anybody. If you can download a couple of links and run a command line in, uh, or a command line tool uh, from your Linux and hopefully soon Windows box, you'll be able to actually program uh, a, a, a Lenaro member board with an Android build and get going actually working on it. This build, uh, has pretty much all the enablement you would expect to see on a, on a regular phone or tablet. Um, and so it is a good platform to, to do whatever you, to, to experiment with your, with your tablet uh, based, based, um, oh, there we go, 
with your tablet-based uh, applications. So this is running at 720p. We also have 1080p, 1080p based builds. So anyhow, that's about that's about it. That's the build. And um, if you have any questions or anything or anything on your mind, or you want to talk about you know what else can get into the build or any particular device you're working on, and you want some. You want some tips on, for example, how to move from a more traditional Linux system into Android, how to take and, and use your, you know, take your existing solution that might be, might be using a more traditional Linux and get it into Android so you can take advantage of the UI elements and the and streamlined development methodology of an Android device. Um, then please, you know, send us email, lenaro-android at list.lenaro.org. Um, or come and talk to us live. We're on hash Lenaro Android dash Android on uh, Freenode uh, on IRC, and we're pretty much there 24 hours a day. So you can come and, and ask any questions you, you might have there. Oh, we've just gone into suspend, which is a good time to 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 end, I guess. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, in this demo, and hope you found it useful.